Hello everybody, and welcome back to another all-new episode of Brickfeed. I'm your host, Sakoda. I am Meso. I am EXX. I'm Starbreaker. I'm Leo. I'm Josh. Thank you all so much for joining us today. How's everyone Hello. doing today? How's it I'm going? Doing very good today. There's a lot of cool stuff to talk about. Yeah, we have a lot of cool stuff to talk about today. I forgot uh, the name. Yeah. Order. <laughs> what? You forget the name. Order. I typed it out. I was like, hey, don't worry about it. I'm, I'm, I'm I was like, last I was like, I know where I am, but I forgot who's in front of me. So, <laughs> oh my god, how could you, Josh? <laughs> you betrayed us. How is it going, everyone? Thank you for coming out. Let us yes. know if it sounds okay. Uh, I'm very, I'm equal parts excited, but also somewhat daunted by this week of events. Yes. We There's usually, been a lot of news. Usually we do brick feed every two weeks. This week we were like, yeah, that was so much news in like one day. We got to do an extra yeah. one. <laughs> yeah. It's a... Um, I mean, it's nice to talk about Lego. Like oh, this, yeah. It's, you know, yeah, it's, it's exciting very time. exciting. <laughs> it's an yeah. exciting time that I can never possibly have enough money to afford in <laughs> a million years. <laughs> oh, that's so epic. Oh, it's not epic. Oh, all right. Money, affording things. Oh. Were it so easy? <laughs> what yeah. say we, uh, we waste no time, eh? Yes, I think we should get right into stuff. Um, today's topic... Uh, it's the original themes, which are Monkey Kid and um, the new theme, Lego Dreams. We're going to start out with Monkey Kid because that's not that many sets. And then we can spend all the rest of the time to talk about Lego Dreams. And Monkey. yeah, and I think we should just get right into it with our first set for today, which is set number 80046, Monkey Kid Cloud Airship, which has 540 pieces and goes for 49.99. So, Boom. I feel like this one kind of suffers a bit from being surrounded by better sets. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. When I, I, when I, I, when I see mean, this, yeah. it does not leave much of an impression on me, but that's not because it's bad. It's because the other three are just so good. I look at this and, I mean, I, I guess the novelty of the vehicle type Yep. merits being mentioned because when have we ever seen a vehicle like this in an action theme the uh, closest like would be what Adventures yeah. Oh, yeah. a decade ago yeah, yeah I, was about to, I was about to yeah. say yeah, it's old, Skybound. Skybound. old news Ninjago. nobody cares yeah, yeah. Ninjago. Ninjago. Adventures. Ninjago. Ninjago. That's where it's at. was it was Dang. the adventure one just one big molded piece X? yeah yes. but the piece is so good though it has like isn't the it super expensive everything. It is so expensive now because everyone wants it because everyone loves Lego Adventures because well, it's, Johnny it's all, Thunder is the is hero it, we need. Okay, wait. Bring it back. <laughs> Bring it back, Bring, Lego. Bring the Can thunder. Johnny Thunder come back in Ninjago like everything else does? And he's Touch Power's funny. rival? That would be fun. What? What, does Ninjago have like a cinematic universe thing? He's, a, kind he's of, Clutch Power's kind of. grandpa. Sort of. Oh, don't they have like to Toxikita from like Lego Agents? Yeah, yeah, they absorb like Ultra Agents characters and Clutch Powers and... Dude, I can't wait to watch that show, man. Actually, with with the good parts pop up. You look, know, look, at that, look at this. Can I put this in here? Because it's gonna let me copy it. One second. Copy. Yeah, it. we need to show the Lego Ventures blimp. But I'm gonna show the box it. because that's this is like a reason it's expensive. Okay. It, it like yeah. would break the blimp <laughs> because it's sticking that's out of the cool. packaging. That's cool. <laughs> I like this one. But I will say that yeah, this is like good in terms of uh, use of parts though compared to. Mm -hmm. That adventure blimp as much yeah, as like nostalgia does, you know. What I do yeah. really want to point out with this monkey kid set is that the 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 blimp has an interior, which I think is really cool. Oh, so you can open cool. it up, and there's like a potted plant in there, and there's like some stickers and stuff. So I think cool. like usually with like blimp builds like this, the big part is kind of like hollow and nothing in That's there. That's a good point. But it's a good good that they use yeah. that that space. The the downside is that it's like barely usable. Um, I don't think you, I don't think you could put like a minifigure in there like at all. I think you probably can. Uh, what are you talking what about, man? This thing actually flies. Maybe if you throw <gasps> it hard enough, it will. Don't yeah, I love that. functional <laughs> flying mechanics. Oh, it does um, not also, swim. like Blimp does not fly. <laughs> I, I don't know. Is there any like interior space in the back? And I, I want to know that. Or like, 
Is it just all technique, like structure stuff? I don't know if there's any in the back. You see in one of the pictures, there's in the front. You can the little drone Sandy flies on. You can put that in the back of the vehicle. Okay. Yeah, like a docking station the, kind of. Thing. Yeah, it's it's weird. This thing is fifty dollars, and like it doesn't look like it. But then you look at the piece count, and it's it's five hundred and forty. So like technically, yeah. it's. I it's think because it of the micro like builds they inflate a lot. The the villain like cart thing, the random little like patch of rocks with lily pads. <laughs> yeah. From... yeah but that doesn't take up that much of the piece count. I it, actually it looks... think I this know. is a case where the set might be a bit bigger than you would think from the pictures. Mm -hmm. Um because like the blimp is so so flat, so you can't really tell how it's built that easily. But yeah, yeah it it does not look like a Giant said and fifty dollars is quite a mm -hmm. price, but yeah. <laughs> I like it. I mean I, as far as the monkey kid vehicles go, the hero vehicles, you know, maze usually stand out, and then I feel like a lot of the others can sometimes blur together unless they're like a mech. Um this is a good a good entry into the roster for yeah. me. It's got, a, it's got a good silhouette and it follows the consistent theme of the main body is literally just a food delivery truck. <laughs> True. <laughs> I do like that angle a lot. Yeah. I'm glad that they've got... stayed really consistent with that. A little interesting fact here. We get Sandy as a minifigure again. Um, and I think this is a good place to talk about what we learned about that. <laughs> Where are they, Go. Lego? So, Go ahead. Um, we've been wondering for a while because Sandy has been in these last couple of sets always been a minifigure. And since we haven't gotten any big figs in Lego sets since, like, I think Thanos, right? Mm -hmm. a couple of years ago um a while back we had a round table with the monkey kid team so i asked if that is like that is purposeful what's the reason behind that they basically told us they want for some sets it just makes sense to have them as a minifigure so you can fit into like buildings and vehicles and they wanted to give people like the opportunity to have a sandy minifigure for their minifigure lineup um mm -hmm. So, but they told us the big fix aren't gone, so it's not like the end of big fix. <laughs> can I, I get my I uh, can I get my hot tech? Sure. It you don't should like be. big fix, right? No, I don't. I don't, I don't like big fix. <laughs> I think we 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 live in a world where there's so many other types of figures. We have like the Axel figures from Nexo Knights. We have unique body types, like with the Eggman from Sonic. You know, long we've woody legs. We, long woody legs. We've evolved past the need for big figs, I think, and they're you they usually just unnecessarily inflate the price of any set they're in. Yeah, yeah imagine I, if, I if, like if imagine with that, if they me. would yeah. <laughs> imagine with like what they did with Dr. Eggman. But if mm -hmm. they did with Thanos, it'd be like more hackers, like sort of in the same yeah. vein. Yeah. To be something between like a fig. And also like uh, you mentioning next to nice as well. You didn't mention what I think is like one of the best iterations of like a quote unquote big fig. It's like the uh the big like demons and like the, the rock golems and stuff that had like this mm. half piece and they also had like a new head piece for them for like the gargoyle as well. I'm trying I'm trying to find it right now. Uh and I'll try to post right. it. But... Do you guys remember the uh the Incredibles game that came out and they had yes. like a new yes. uh a new torso for Mr. Incredible, but they never made it into uh set, like physical yeah. form? Mm. Yeah, that um, I I, w I really wish they had gone with that instead. Yeah, that I think they perfect. could do like a cool middle sized Sandy, um, <laughs> kind of like yeah. Doctor Eggman, probably something like that. I I'd love that. But yeah, it's just I totally when you get what when you don't do big, you can do more outfits, you can do more designs, you can fit him into more vehicles easily. Yeah, like I I don't really want them to come back, but. I understand maybe some people do miss them. I mean, because they are unique. I also think it's because in the show he still kind of looks like the big fig. So yes. I get people yeah. wanting to like wanting the big fig instead of the minifigure. So, yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I mean, I kind of enjoy what they did with the yellow tusked elephant in the last Monkey Kid Wave, mm -hmm. um, where there was the minifigure version and then there was the larger buildable figure version that yeah, it's like you could a just mini set mech. a minifig yeah. into. Mm -hmm. um, and while that is more of a mech-type build, if they did something like that with Sandy, then I would 
be really happy with it, but that's not present here. So I I would really personally like to see them do at least something to give Sandy some larger stature. It, yeah. They made like uh, the tiny bull king, didn't they? Yeah, they did. The mix mm-hmm. joint. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. great. I love that. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, it's it's the same scale as that yellow tusked elephant that they did too. So also kind of <sighs> reminds me of Reinhardt from Overwatch, where it's you have a minifigure, but he sits in like a mech basically. Hmm. Yeah. Um, even though that was yeah. a bit extreme, the size difference. <laughs> Are there more monkey kid sets? Uh, yes. Shall we move on yeah. to the next one or any final? I don't know. Maybe like, do we have like a lot of sets today, or do we only have like? Did we talk oh. about the price, we of have... price of Mert or no? We I think it's pretty it, fair. Yeah, I think it's pretty honest. Fair. Yeah. It's over okay. five hundred and fifty. I can't really complain for monkey yeah. kid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's close. All right. It's all then right. we can go to the next one. Uh, next set is set number 80047, Mace Guardian Dragon. 605 pieces. Here, I think it's important to give the different prices. It's yeah. 4699 mm. pounds, 7499 dollars, and 5299 euros. What happened? Yeah, <laughs> why is that What the case? <laughs> happened here? So I don't know conversion because I'm a, no, I'm a small not- brand. That seems like a pretty... Drastically, that is yeah. huge and disparity. It's also not like that with the other sets. There's some disparity, but not as extreme. Like the, the price for piece is like goes from seven point like eight this. to like twelve point four. That's huge. Yeah, I think the the pound price is like great. <laughs> the euro yeah. price is good, and the um the dollar price is bad. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. You hear my? Up uh, here. <laughs> you wanna hear my crackpot theory? Hmm. pre-production they got the initial lineup of these they miscalculated how many they needed for specific continents and so they overproduced for the european area and underproduced for the united states that's my crackpot theory i don't know if that has anything to do with the actual prices we've gotten or not but my theory might be because i feel like this spread is so extreme and we don't see it in other themes. Maybe it's because like monkey kid sets don't go to normal retailers. Mm-hmm. Um, so they only send like, and if they're produced in Denmark or like Europe in general, maybe they they have to add like shipping for the couple of sets they send over to the US because they're own la- like basically you can buy monkey kid sets only on Lego.com or in like a couple of Lego stores. So maybe it's like because of shipping, but why wouldn't that apply to the other sets? So it's kind of weird. Yeah, that really that's a hard one. Sense. Nick Gunn's like uh, in the patron chat, this has happened to Transformers in the past, most often with European markets getting screwed. Lopsided pricing, I mean. Yeah, yeah I mean, that's fair mm-hmm. enough. The reasons are beyond our consumer brain comprehension. <laughs> yes. But let's talk about the set itself. I think this Tell is me awesome. Why. I love this set. <laughs> mm-hmm. Very good dragon. Very, yeah. very good dragon. Um, I think they could have done a little bit more in the wing department for it, but aside from that, like... I personally I suppose... love those wings, because if you look like at Chinese paintings, of, like the, the Chinese dragons, they often mm-hmm. have like some kind of fur or something like that on, on the top of their arms. It's not really wings yeah. what they have, and kind of looks like that, so I like, I like how it looks. <laughs> yeah, I think it works well. Yeah. yeah, I'm it enjoying does, it does work this. Well, Go I'm ahead. enjoying this trend of like limbed figures using the uh, the rounded like yeah. pieces for the macaroni. for the limbs. <laughs> we'll the macaroni. We'll get to more later, but I think it works very well here uh, mm-hmm. because a lot of dragons typically the limbs are their are the worst part in my opinion. They're very like stiff. They're very awkward. They don't like the bodies are super aerodynamic and the limbs just aren't. Yeah, but yeah, this is consistent blocky. with the kind of shaping of the torso, the rounded nature of like the gold pieces near the front, and then the rounded nature of the limbs, and then the tail. Like it, it all just works really well together. This 100%. is one of my favorite May sets from yeah. the theme. Yeah. I think it's like my got, favorite like, May set. <laughs> I like that we got like May's bike, then May's car, then May's jet, and now we finally get May's <laughs> dragon. Like after all this time, yeah. Yeah. I also uh, really like the eyes, how they did that. I, I hope printed. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's printed. Um, yeah. That's a very cool way to do it. I would hope so. <laughs> yeah. But there are some stickers other places. But yeah. yeah, I know. I don't like stickers. 
Yeah, no, I love would it. Be, this, uh, mm-hmm. It's great. Yeah, the it blade would be cool. piece has been used before, though, right? Not... Yes. Which piece? Okay. The blade piece. Oh yeah, that's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that was in the last wave. Okay. Both of those colors too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the only new minifigure is Tang in his new suit. Um, Finally. we got the May already, but I think the minifigures spiffy. look great. Another way to get yellow tusk. That's good. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Um, I would love to get it, but I never will at that price. So yeah, I think yeah. Wah, the question wah, is: wah. Do you think it would be um, you it would be affordable to buy it in the UK and ship it to the US? <laughs> I was actually gonna ask you that. Honestly, <laughs> not. I don't know. Maybe well, to say. if you if you do like a bulk order with people, like three people ordering it and. Just send I a care get, package of monkey resell yeah. dragons but then, to the US. But then you might have to uh, like pay taxes. So I just shipped something to AJ recently that was roughly the size of this. Now, granted, that was shipping from America to the UK, okay. not vice versa, mean? but it was over twenty bucks. Okay. Um, so I mean, I think but that the would price really difference is the almost difference. thirty. It is yeah. so maybe <laughs> it would be it would narrowly be better, <laughs> but it wouldn't be more efficient for time and effort. Yeah, yeah. easier option. Uh, Sakota buy a lot of these, and then when you end up coming to the U.S., uh, <laughs> just dispense them. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, people will wait at a ten dollar markup. Dragon. Then you'll make your money back. <laughs> That's true. And then money, some... money, money, money. No, I love it. Uh, genuinely, yeah, yeah. it's one of those sets where I'm just like. It would be perfect if it wasn't for extraneous factors. So yeah. mm-hmm. I think uh, I I personally want to get this one. I like it a lot. <laughs> I like super close to getting it. Still a bit on because this is one of the better dragons. Yeah. By uh, yeah. I, overall, like I, I'd put then in this in like probably like top top five, maybe top three if it weren't for the eye situation. Or it's like I love the printed eye, but I can't unsee that little. That little hull sticking out that's uh, attaching the Exo Force arm as yeah. the eyes and. That's uh, just the tear duct, man. <laughs> I mean, maybe you can push it like out further a bit and then it's. No, you still have that little pokey oh, yeah. hole you in got, there. Yeah, yeah you yeah, gotta yeah. have the hole, but it's not as yeah. visible. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. And also, I I don't like the. I feel like the entire Dragon Story Lanessa also, uh, you know, uh, concur on the mess uh, with the, the roundedness of like the, the limbs, which is usually a problem with like Lego Dragons. But I. True. Also, one thing that I also don't like so much is that when they have these like really long, beautiful, uh, very like snake-like dragons, um, I don't like when they do a middle ground thing of the wings. And I, this this feels like a little bit of a middle ground of the wings. Like if if you picture this with like Wu's like old dragon having those wings, that that feel like be a lot better. But like like they did with the uh, jungle dragon as well. And I I don't, I don't like where there's like a I think Little, like either like, go old way or no way with a, with the, the Chinese wings, dragons think. usually don't have wings. Yeah, that, yeah. So, I would love to see Lego really commit to a Chinese style dragon. I would love to see them make a dragon that is actually super super long because we know from the show May's dragon is actually incredibly long yeah um then there was uh lloyd's dragon from the lego ninjago movie Which is definitely yeah, the, closest the closest they've come but yeah that is, they downscaled it for the set. That is the closest they they have come yes but they horrendously downscaled it in my opinion like it was it was a pretty significantly missed opportunity when you look at the screen you're like ah oh, that's like actually put together that's built that's real like that's that's a that's a really cool looking long dragon, yeah, and then you, you look at the set, that. and it's like <laughs> that would be really that would be like a that would UCS be so expensive levels. But yeah, that on would one be... hand, yes, but on the other, I'm asking for it in place of perhaps one of these larger expensive set pieces. Because can I, I feel can like... I make a bold statement? I would have rather had UCS Lloyd's Dragon over Ninjago City Docks. <laughs> I feel like I Docs is the worst agree. of the three, and I think I, I would have like rather Docs. had a dragon over Docs. I'm inclined to agree. Having a, like a screen accurate sized Lloyd dragon would have been pretty killer. <laughs> but yeah, good set. Yeah, it is good set. It is good set. Good I, uh, oh, yeah, and, and I can't European, wait to see what Europe mocks win. come up for it. Pat Europe the... win for the for the price point. Very fun. 
In the YouTube chat, pa Pat Burkholder pointed out the Shang Chi dragon was also a very like oh, Chinese dragon yeah. build set. Yeah. Yeah. For a tiny set, they did do pretty good with uh, the length yeah. on that one. If it That's had been yeah. bigger, it would have been good. That one, that one did bug me about the scale too, because the dragon was so huge in the movie, and then in the set, you can fit like you know one or two mini figures on its back or whatever. Um, but I mean, I, I guess they can't build everything to scale, and yeah, that is the challenge. Uh, I imagine challenge. they do run into. I mean, you want to keep it affordable too, <laughs> so I get mm -hmm. it. It's very yeah. affordable right now in the. I US, would just like, so. like I said, I was, I would like to see it in place of one of their larger sets, like just them really committing to a Chinese dragon and building something nice and long. <laughs> I'm with you there. All right, all right. The next set is set number eight zero zero four eight. The mighty Azure Lion it goes for seventy nine ninety nine for seven hundred and eighty nine pieces. I'm really loving the new age, uh, the return of Teal or Turquoise, yes. whatever its official name is. Dark Turquoise. Is it Teal. Dark Turquoise. <laughs> oh, we're, we're living in a good era. This I like is... It. All right. Uh, it looks so goofy and I love it. It's okay. <laughs> I do not like the head. I love everything but angry. the head. The head is... The head is the part I like the most. Dot dot dot. Not from the front. Yeah, I like I, that the back of the head the is made up of uh, dragon heads. Yes, that, that is. is really cool that's detail. clever. It's a cool building technique. Yeah, but you're not going to be showing the back of the head. You're going to be showing the front of it probably, and it's yeah, it's not I'm that good looking. I feel. I'm not, even, not really sure what's supposed to be. I just think it's all right, honestly. It's I like the, the, the Azure, Azure Lion. lion. Doesn't look much like a lion. It looks more like Hulk Hogan <laughs> than a lion. Hulk Hogan. <laughs> well, let me tell you something, brother. Brother. <laughs> yeah, this just looks brother. like Hulk Hogan is just hangry for a Snickers bar or something. That's just yeah. what. It, that's just you're, what like, you're hungry. Yeah, this is in the same vein as like the the Guerrilla Warfare uh, Chima set that they made, <laughs> like the big uh, the Big Mac that they made by. But yeah, I do like that hair uh, hair technique though. That's really cool. I like that. Yeah. I, I wish I, the I take eyes back. were. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. Here you go. I, I was just saying, I wish the eyes were inset more. They look like really out and like bug eyed. You that kind of bothers me. Yeah. Yeah. I think they kind of had to do that to get them at that angle. But yeah. yeah. But why yeah. did they have to be at that angle? Like with the. I think it would look weird monkey if they were, like, specifically, straight like... forward facing. But yeah. I don't know. The monkey mechs had them straight forward facing. Like. The face proportions on the minifigure, they're in the same, the eyes are in the same spot as a normal minifigure's eyes, so I don't feel like it would have detracted from it at all. Um, all of the Monkey Mechs have the eyes forward facing and not super spaced out, so I understand they were going for a little more lion proportions here, yeah. but I mean, they had an excellent head sculpt for the the system creator Tiger 3-in-1 set that they did. And follow it like you compare that side by side with this, and it's kind of night and day, you know. I would like to amend my prior statement. This is the one mm. I like the least. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> like sitting down to look at them. <laughs> it's not even just the head either. It's just so Monkey Kid. I Monkey Kid Max. I feel are very hard, and they're hard because the theme opened with the original monkey king mech and the mm -hmm. demon bull king mm -hmm. and Both after bangers. you have after you have those two i feel you really have to try to make any others really stand out and they've been able to do it but typically they're really big and ornate i feel that the smaller mechs like yeah. the macaque mech and this you one. know like this one they 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 struggle to have like a hook or any kind of like identity yeah, aside from too. Aside from the turquoise, I don't really know what I can point to and be like, oh yeah, this mech has like a really cool design technique or like it doesn't have knees, right? It's another one of I these like uh, pre bent because you see the technic linkers in there. Um, oh, yeah. Amazing. So it doesn't have the posability going for it. The design looks good. 
There's no there's nothing that looks weird besides the head. It's just kind of very standard. I think the torso is uh, a little bizarre because they're trying to go for that musculature shape, and instead it just looks like you've got like I think I don't the, know. It's 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 concaved and then random cockpit piece for the, the center of his sternum. The random cockpit piece but, is there because you can open it up and put in a minifigure. But yeah, that is that is fair. That is fair. That was a big complaint with the macaque mech specifically. So I am glad that that has at least been remedied. But it still doesn't change the fact that it does make the upper torso look goofy when it is supposed to be as bare musculature there <laughs> instead of. It yeah. would look better without uh, that for sure. Hundred yeah. percent. So I don't know. I, not, I don't think this is bad by any means. I just think it's very like is very average, average fair Lego mech. You know what could have saved this or made it a lot cooler at least? Huh. Mm. A cape. I agree. Cape. Yeah. I'll agree. Does he have yeah. a cape? I mean, Next with, uh, with the, capes. The minifigure has a cape, cool, yeah. Right? And he has a cape in the, the minifigure has a really cool cape, actually. Oh. Well done. Oh, yeah. I see that now. It's like like uh, like one of those like birds that have, like really big tail. I don't know. What yeah, it's a weird yet. choice. I don't know why they yeah. didn't do that. I, um... <laughs> I don't know, just standing this up next to the other monkey mechs, like even the macaque mech, I like the macaque mech more. And then the head sculpt, uh, we, I, I own the three-in-one tiger set, or at least GL does, I got it for her. Um, and that head sculpt was much better done than this and is also still posable. So, yeah. I don't know, just um, it's not bad, but it is far from my favorite mech in the monkey kid line i think it's probably my least favorite mech well, all right then yeah things i do like about it though uh i like the the scroll gun that's really neat yeah the scroll mm -hmm. is cool um and yeah. I'll, we also get um uh that mk minifigure true yes. why is it with monkey kid having like a huge staff knife? Could that thing like shoot or something like why is it so huge what's going on here uh, well, canonically, uh, his staff oh, can be yeah. The huge, staff so. can change size. So I know, but yeah. like, I I know that I've, I've seen the show. I'm not I'm not asking about lore. I'm talking okay. about like for here. Like, why does it, why why is this minifigure needed to have like like can it shoot? Does it serve any function? Because otherwise, it's just so, okay. It's just big. X no. You, X, does it you shoot? know how they sometimes have the weapon packs in some sets? Yeah. Um. This this staff is part of a weapon pack. Um. So, because they have like the golden weapons for this season, so every set that comes with one of the golden weapons comes with all of them, so they use that staff in those sets. We love golden weapons. But it's, that's like big extra stuff on this one particular set, or just in all of them? Yeah, it's in all of them. It's in all of them? Okay, they should have made it smaller. There's no reason for it to be that, but you need to balance the minifigure for it to stand, dude. That's, yeah. that's, come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Come on. We've been through they've... this in Tima, man. We already did this. Come on. I, I, I remember those days of just yeah. overloaded weapons. It's yeah. like, you know, to it's cool in Ratchet and Clank because, you know, the guy can hold it either way, but like in Lego, he's going to fall over with that big, <laughs> big, big weapon, okay? Like it's not... How do you know that? I do think How do I know that? that we get have... the staff in different sizes so you can play. Yeah, like, I was going to okay. say that. Like, to be fair, they've done this before. They've like had the staff at different sizes. I think they did that with the original uh, Monkey King mech. Yeah. Um, Where they, like, they had like the candle pieces that you could like change the size of the staff and everything. Uh, and then obviously, like, the staff itself in the Monkey King mech is the staff. So I think it's cool they give it to us in different sizes and stuff, and, and an, uh, an upcoming set um, shows that, like, a lot more. Mm -hmm. um, but I, don't know, I think it's cool. We've gotten plenty of, like, the same kind of staff, so it's cool that we get it in a different size. Yeah. Also, the set has the new Pigsy. Which yeah. New minifigure. And nice. MK is kind of a new minifigure. <laughs> he has a tail and a different face now. <laughs> nice. All right, we have one last Monkey Kid set for today, which oh, is baby. set number eight zero zero four nine, the Dragon of the East Palace, which has two thousand and three hundred sixty four pieces, goes for one hundred eighty nine ninety nine. That's a big staff. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the big staff. <laughs> <laughs> The big staff's like my favorite part about this thing. Yeah. Just because yeah. it's a good accent and it also sets the scale very well. 
Mm-hmm. And some good bit of like uh, color contrast. Yeah, canonically, mm-hmm. that's where he got the staff, right? He stole it from the dragon yeah. of the East Palace. So that makes yeah. a lot of sense to have it here, like massive. <laughs> it was a uh, it was a column in like oh, the, the yeah. treasury, basically. So uh, so yeah, it's neat. <laughs> what I've been uh, seeing a lot, I know AJ was was talking a lot about this, is it's very much like the um temple of the endless sea i believe it was called from ninjago mm-hmm. seabound it's basically the same set I mean, structure wise it's an underwater also, temple no. and a, like, just like a just theme wise <laughs> with the you know, with the dragon built in like it's it's very similar it's similar yeah but like this not is similar. way better in quality and structure. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, it's like way it, bigger. They're not really comparable. It makes Temple of the Endless Sea look like a creator set or like <laughs> something very smaller in scale. I mean, it's half the um, parts, probably. That's exactly like that, right? why it is half the pr- parts, yes. Um, I like it. Like, is, is a dragon it statue? Like a statue? Price. I think that's supposed to be the Dragon of the East, right? Not a statue. Uh, okay, so you, that's like a fully full figure that you got. No, in the I'm looking at other pictures. It's just half a dragon. Yeah, but is, is it out, supposed to be high? the statue, or is it supposed to be the dragon of the east? Well, the the oh, the minifigure is the dragon of the east. So yes, but he can know. turn like he can summon like a big dragon form too, right? Yeah, yeah. but wasn't his dragon like pink? I thought it was pink or yeah. like pinkish purple. So it's supposed be to be just a statue, question. or yeah, probably. I'm not sure. Well, I guess we'll see. I mean, it looks like it's got posability, so it looks really good whether it's a mini mini build or a full build or not. Um, and the amount of detail yeah. here is ridiculous and very commendable. Like mm-hmm. it, looks yeah, it's a very very, very nice, very nice use of like colors and everything. It looks very beautiful. What I really appreciate about it is that it, like, even though it it, it kind of falls into that Lego meme where it's just like, oh, the location is just like a wall, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But it kind of sidesteps it because it has some depth. Like, there's multiple levels. Uh, it's not just flat all the way across. You yeah. can see the front, like, facing rock uh, formations are kind of like offset to the to the front, and then going back, there's like a staircase that wraps around the back. So. It gives like the the illusion of a lot of depth, and I really appreciate mm-hmm. that. I think it's. Cool. I mean, I think there's like yeah. a nice balance with with the uh, when it comes to like it being a wall because if you also add too much depth, then like all of the budget goes into just yeah. making sure that like there's they can fit a little bit more mini figures because you're not going to have that much detail in there either way. So mm-hmm. I feel like this is a good balance of this. Like I wouldn't react to this as a wall or anything, honestly. I agree. I think it's very well the... done. The shrimp Very and the crab people, uh, those are new minifig heads, right? Or were they yes. just in Jago? Okay. No, these are new. Ah, uh, <laughs> Sebastian. Look so good. I mean, they look very funny. <laughs> so, my question is are they going to ever get a use out of these again? Um, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Probably Old, not. Most of the monkey kid stuff looks very like unique molded type stuff, so it doesn't feel like some kind of molds that they'd be like keeping. Bionicle right 2 specialized <laughs> molds. Oh. Okay, I wonder they if also... they can get like a lot of molds for like 2025 or something. What are you saying, Sakoda? They, they, re... <laughs> they reused the, the breathing apparatus from Seabound 2 for, for MK. Which is fun. Oh, you're right. That's what from. We talked about this earlier, that like front wall that has like all the, the aqua- aquatic stuff. It kind of like mm-hmm. there has to be some kind of function where it opens up to reveal the throne room. Not entirely sure how the function works, but it reminds me a lot of the heavenly realms where it like also opens up the clouds to reveal the temple. Yeah. And they explain to us at the round table that's like a, I guess a reference to Chinese art where they're like the clouds often open up to reveal a scene. Oh, that's, that's cool. Why they did it in the set that way. So I think that's, that's once again something where they very much take into account like the Chinese culture and art for these sets. That's really cool. Okay, I'm, well I'm, looking, done, like that's, I'm looking at the um, open and closed again. It looks like the entire front face, including that like little archway thing on the right. It looks like yeah. it's all connected and it opens up as one big door. Yeah. Cool, cool. Also, one are, these, are these krill or shrimp? Crimp. There's krill? Crimp. But it's a tr- I think it's crimp a shrimp drill. warrior. Crimp, drill. Shrimp? Krill? Drill? I think, I think it's a shrimp drill. warrior. What's, what's the drill? 
I don't know, man. I'm asking whether or not it's krill, man. Uh, they're, they're, <laughs> they're shrimp. Yeah, they're shrimp. shrimp. Okay. Yeah. They're shrimp. Would you ah, call me? Not, I'm not gonna call it. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna do the krill joke though. But yeah, these guys look really funny. Yeah, <laughs> they do yeah. look very they're funny. Not, I'm not, I'm I don't very really doubt they will be the used one, again. But... So if you have a burning desire to get them, Leo, I yeah. think you should break link them while you still can. Mm-hmm. I will say one in a krillian. When this set was announced, I was hoping we we're gonna get May in the dress. Because in the, the episode that takes place there, she has a dress. We never mm-hmm. really got that as a minifigure. But May's yeah. not even in the set, which I think is kind of a weird choice. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Also, I mean, like... Uh, I, I get where you're going with it, but like all the all the sets that they do based off of like Sun Wukong's life... But they don't have any of the other characters besides yes. MK. And they also explain to us why, kinda. Um, they usually have MK in those. And the the idea is that he's like the viewer insert visiting those scenes from mm. Monkey King's life, basically. But I do feel like for this set specifically, they could have switched out MK for May. Because yeah. May's more related to, to the dragons and all that. Yeah. It probably yeah. would have been the right choice. But yeah, if you want to want to have May in the dress, get the pieces for the Dragon of the East. They look almost <laughs> the torso nice. and the dress piece. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, do what um, you gotta do. Yeah, I like the reuse of the uh, the city fire piece for like the rock and yeah. Like, I, w- I wanted details. to say that yes, they recolored that in dark gray and looks great as a rock and piece. and blue, dark blue. Oh yeah, true. There's some that's like yeah, uh, near the dragon statue thing. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, also, there was a tweet that I saw. Um, so apparently, underneath the bed um, is the the scroll, the the ink scroll. Mm. So um, there was like a little bit of speculation as to like why it was under there, like why it, it specifically is in like the palace of the EC. Interesting. Yeah. There is had there to be any a reason. Precedent from the journey to the west or something like that. I don't know, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, all in all, this uh, definitely is a good flagship set. Yeah. I think this is very much in line with it. the Flowerfruit Mountain and the Heavenly Realms, like one of those <sighs> kind of like big collector sets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I think it does a great job at uh, that. I wish Fair I had space. <laughs> Same. I'm glad that Ninjago was a great beta test for us to get this t- this set here. I'm glad that I can say that about Ninjago for once, because usually I feel like it's the other way around. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, Ninjago is like aping from other themes. Yeah. Dude, Ninjago <laughs> doesn't have an elephant guy. They just have snakes. <laughs> True. Yeah. Well, they have more Same than snake, that. But, you know, different colors. Funny. Yeah. yeah. Man, they could have had they could have had uh, crabs and shrimp too, but they went with snakes. I mean, they kind of had C stuff for the movie, but yeah. So uh, I mean, oh, wasn't it just minifigure crab, guys crab, in crab, costumes? Crab. Yes. Yeah. It wasn't yeah. even like a... <laughs> that whole choice was weird. Yes, but I think that's a topic for another <laughs> <Yes>. day. <laughs> All right. Overall, good wave of Monkey Kid. I, yeah, I like very. it a lot. Mm-hmm. It's a great wave. I like it. All right. Now we're gonna Solidly get to made. the new original Lego theme. Yeah. Lego White. Themes. Wait. Let's do an intermission. Yes. Let's oh, do yeah. some. Let's do. Let's do some plugs. Okay, that's. A do good you want to do the plugs, or you want me to do the plugs? I can do the plugs if you want me to. But okay. You can also do it. Okay. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. We're keep the peace. Uh, if you want to support us, you can go to patreon.com forward slash the TTV channel, or as low as one dollar a month, you can join our Patreon Discord uh, channel, and you can see your messages on stream like you do right now. If you want to discuss all things Lego, you can go to boards.ttvchannel.com and discuss everything you want to talk about. And if you want to be updated about all the stuff we do, you can go to twitter.com forward slash the TTV channel. I want to interject one new thing into the plugs repertoire because it's something I want to get into the habit of mentioning. uh, And that is if you're liking the content, give it a like. Or as the YouTube speak says, smash that like button! (laughs) Smash it! Um, 
carpet Smash bomb it. at Smash like the like button, button. Fellas, if you like the content do it and the and the reason is because it. it actually helps like it helps do videos it. get seen and i mean do i would it. like more people to see keep the peace stuff it would make me happy so if you like the content like it if you don't leave us uh, an angry comment about why you don't yeah uh, any, any any engagement helps so bring on the <laughs> anger <Wow>. do it <laughs> anger <laughs> baby plug. meso <laughs> Angry but I did it for years with the contest, so I'll do it again. Wow. Epic. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. All right, Dash. carry on. All right, uh, we're getting into the new theme, which was announced last week, right? Yes. Yes. So, <laughs> Lego Dreams. But before we get into the sets, we kind of want to have a bit of a general discussion about the theme announcement, the TV show, all things like that. I'm just going to The throw web a show. Of... Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the web show. Although apparently it is airing on TV in Germany. Yeah, I think in some other countries too. But yeah, very interesting. Wait, wait, oh, that's unfair, man. That's <laughs> nice for Germany. Rare Germany I don't know. W. I hope that it's still going to be available on YouTube in Germany too. Because mm -hmm. otherwise, I don't know if that's really a W. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah. What did you all think about the Dreams reveal? What do you all think about... What they're doing. What dreams to reveal. Okay, are we are we gonna consider the, the I never saw the features? reveal, man. I just or... I just looked at the Lego sets. So um, you should watch my my epic news video yeah. act Meso where I basically discuss video. the press release. Basically, the thing with dreams is the thing that I found most interesting about the reveal is there's like a metric ton of promotional just campaigns they're doing for it. Now, I know Lego does do this sometimes with themes. Like, I know Friends got a big, like, marketing splash for its relaunch as well. Yeah. But there's, like, an excessive amount of things for Dreams. And I mean that in a, in a good way. Excessively good. I'm going to just read the bullet point list, if that is okay. Go ahead. Um, so, Lego Dreams. Uh, three 3D billboards in Tokyo, New York, and London, each featuring a creature from the dream world that's escaping into their respective city. Inviting children on a dream creature hunt across Lego stores, website, Legoland, and a special edition of the Lego Life magazine where they can look for and share their found dream creatures to win a badge and rewards in the Lego Life app. Legoland Parks and Legoland Discovery Centers are doing the Lego Dreams 4D movie and events featuring activities at Legoland from build activities, giveaways, photo ops, etc. A special themed Dreams edition of the free Lego Life magazine in July featuring a Lego Dreams front cover, fun activities, and a poster. A 16-page Lego Dreams comic will be available throughout the summer as an insert in the many different Lego magazines, also in Lego stores, and in Legoland parks and discovery centers. Later in the year, a range of activity and fiction books, as well as a bi-monthly Lego Dreams magazine. On May 15th, the Lego Life app is getting six new Lego Dreams NPCs that will share different like activities and things. Uh, then also, obviously, Dreams, the new series, will be launching on Lego's YouTube channel on May 15th. And that's going to be fun. And then finally... Uh, to celebrate the launch of Lego Dreams, the Lego Group will launch a world-first opportunity for children to become a chief dream creator. The chosen participants will be flown to Denmark, home of the Lego Group, to take part in several Lego Dreams workshops. Children aged between 6 to 12 years old will be encouraged to submit their own dream creation, a picture of either a Lego build they've made themselves or a drawing showing a creature or vehicle they've dreamt of that incorporates brick building. Their dream creation should be accompanied by a short description relaying what their creation is called, what it can do, and why it excited them in their dream. Entry opens on May 20th to June 20th. And more information can be found at lego.com forward slash dreams easy z. So you can basically in win being part of you can win being part of being like making like a dream set potentially then or just like maybe content. maybe set, maybe it's in the show, but maybe it's just mm. getting to see the behind the scenes nature of Lego by going to Den Denmark okay. that might be the prize. Which I would they have love. a blonde J okay. in the series, which is interesting. <laughs> to a plastic, the dreams canon contest. No, no, <laughs> yes. I know what this, looks, 
This theme looks like if Lego Universe came out today and they yeah. needed a theme. Like, That's kind yeah, of what I expect. Especially too. those minions. And thank you, Lego, for incorporating the new Lego big heads in more sets. Very appreciative. Mm -hmm. really like <laughs> Lego it reminds big heads. me a lot of Lego Universe, Lego Time Cruisers, and like old Lego themes in general, like the early 2000s, late 90s stuff. Yeah, it also feels like some people that like maybe are into Galador maybe have yeah, something true. to do with it. <laughs> like it just gets like a. Just a tingling feeling. I don't know where it comes from. It's just something that comes to mind. <laughs> it's, no uh, it's one of my favorite themes in, in recent years, which admittedly the bar isn't exactly high at that because Lego licensing is taken over. <laughs> but mm -hmm. uh, I think it's really good. I love basically everything about it. I think it's really cool. It's really fun. And I'm impressed by how much money and like advertising they're yeah. throwing at it. They're definitely trying to have it make a splash and have it be the next big thing. I hope it pays off. You know? What I do think is pretty crazy is that we got the announcement this uh, this week and the show already starts on the 15th. It's like, that's yes. so close. It's that a really good unreal. turnaround. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, something we should say, this is Tommy and Drayson's yes. next big next project. project. So for those of you who are wondering what he's been up to since leaving Ninjago, this is it. And also, yeah. I guess, during while Crystallized was was happening. So that is interesting to follow as well. Curious to see that. The trailer, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting much. I, I had a very low expectation because I didn't think I would like this. Yeah. Um, but I was surprised by how fun the trailer looked. Is it going to win like awards for being the best Lego show? Probably not, but it looks like a good time. It looks funny. Yeah. It looks creative. I like the visuals and the voice acting, and yeah. I'm excited to watch it. I, I uh, think, first of all, it's great that it gets a show. Um, yes. Uh, second of all, I think it. I think the, the, the target demographic is a bit younger than Ninjago. Um but I think also Ninjago started out like a bit younger, goofier, and maybe matured over time. So I I don't know if they they will do that with Dreams too. But I could. See I doubt it. it. I imagine it yeah. will be pretty pretty laid back, pretty low low stakes, fun for for its time. And I think that's fine. Yeah, for I think it. that's fine too. Considering how like weirdly dark Monkey Kid gets at times, not yeah. that I'm complaining. I think it's fine if there's a Lego theme on offer that is kind of more laid back and for happy. kids to enjoy. <laughs> yeah, I, I think and this is something we're going to talk about with the sets, so I won't jump the gun too much. But I think this is the most Lego Lego theme that has been done in recent years. Yeah. I think it, it, it checks the boxes. So what does Lego within Lego mean? Because this is personal for a lot of... This is like saying that something feels exotic in Destiny or something. It's something... Good great. point. I think yeah, so that, is very, that is way too vague. That's, That's saying fair. good thing is very good when it is good. It's like I nice think what Meso might mean is that it's very like creative, very out there, very imaginative. And it's Crea about, Ima like... Imagination is definitely what, I'm, uh, what I mean to say and specificity. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but I love my uh, my controversial like buzzword statements. <laughs> They're great. Yeah, there we we need to go. We need to go deeper. Yeah, so it looks like a cool theme. You know, uh, Lego hidden side walked so Lego dreams could run. So okay, I do feel things. bad. I do feel bad for all the hidden side fans out there. Uh, pour pour one out for for our very own AJ Walk. <laughs> um, yeah, he was one of the he was one of the seven fans. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> They're gonna show up at this theme. So, is there any? Is there any Lego sets? Yeah, there... we're good to talk about the sets now. Okay, then we can get into the first set, which is set number four zero six five seven, Dream Village. That comes uh, with four hundred and thirty four pieces. Goes for twenty nine ninety nine. So this wasn't. Uh... This wasn't initially revealed with the rest of the sets. Yeah. I so I, I I don't know either. It just wasn't in the initial batch, and that's funny to me. Um, I don't know. It's naturally the least interesting of the bunch just because it's the smallest. 
Yeah, but it's it's not. Oh, it's not. Got him. It's uh, oh. like the bunnies or Z blob. Oh, okay. Well, fair enough then. Then I guess we have to to discuss it. So, <laughs> I mean, I like the concept of it. The thing with dreams is that there are alternate builds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Every every set has multiple alternate configurations, which it's oh, kind of classic like, Lego. It's kind of like the Ninjago core wave where they have the Evo thing to power up sets, except with that, it was presented very much as the lame version and the cool version. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas with dreams, it's just two like wildly think, disparate things. I think in this good... case, it's a three building village or one big house. I think a good way to explain it and applies maybe a bit more to later sets. It's, not a creator three in one. It's not an Evo set. It's kind of like a choose your own adventure thing. Um, yes. Where you build a base model and then you get to decide like which which like expanded version you want to build. There's like mm. usually two versions you can. Which I I love that. Into mm -hmm. yeah. I yeah, imagine yeah. a lot of people will still always default to the one on the box, myself included. But well, the good know. thing is on the back of the box you have both versions and pretty big, so it's like. I don't think I wouldn't say it's very much there's a main model here. Um they they, they kinda avoid that a bit. Or try to at least. I think they do well. like all the faces. Uh Leo, are you looking yep. at this set? Yeah, I mean You it's know what it reminds fine. me of? It reminds mm -hmm. me of the uh Lego Legacy Unboxed little village thing. Oh you're right. Right? The more you look oh, at it, man. the more it's Yeah, it's so, as soon as that popped up. Man, like, it's oh. it's so fitting uh, because that's dying in a couple months. Right. I can't, that's I why can't believe that it's out. dying. It'll live on yeah. in our dreams. Actually. In our dreams. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Copium. <laughs> Copium baby. Let's do it. <laughs> but dude, I really I, I do love this set though. I think this is like one of the more better sets of like all time where it's like a lot in like a small sets. And you it, know, I'm it a bit does of a feel very meaty for a twenty dollar set. It's a thirty dollar yeah. set. Thirty dollar set. Thirty. Yeah, but it's wow. it's nice. You get but you get a little village. You can get yeah. it with like I, I all these silly little guys. You know? The price <laughs> assessment for this one is really hard for me. It's four hundred and thirty four pieces. Um, at thirty dollars, it does look way smaller than four hundred pieces. Like, I don't yeah. know. So I think the price is okay, but I feel like it doesn't look like a lot of mass. <laughs> I guess. I think the yeah, mass that comes with it, like part. if you build yeah. tail, the big yeah. building, Probably, it looks a little yeah. bit more substantial. It does definitely have a lot of because of how vertical it is. It mm -hmm. it does stand out a lot. I think mm -hmm. I do prefer it in the in the combined mode. Yeah. I, I want. I I'm considering buying this just because like I, it's just fun having like a little village like yeah. this. But I'm a bit back and forth about like the silly little guys because the silly okay. little guys has like a okay. new silly little guy. Let's talk about the silly little guys. The silly little guys, silly little guys is the most controversial part of dreams. <laughs> Yeah. What? Yeah, cause some, but some angles they look. Cause this like is chicken. kind of where I'm at. They they look weird in some angles and some not, and like the connection is a bit odd to look at sometimes. But I'm saving my opinion to when I actually have them in my hands because, like I said, it, they look weird from some angles, some some not. So I'm still on the fence whether or not I like them or not. I think... kind of had something like that with the lava dudes. Um, but these yeah, those these are kind of like. I think they look a bit weird if you look at them up front, but if you ha look at them up from an angle, it's a bit better. <laughs> I but. am of the opinion that I think I would prefer if they were just regular minifig. Of but <laughs> having something like weird, it does kind of play into, oh, you're in a dream world where things don't function the same. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the rules you know don't really apply. Yeah, and I, I I kind of like that. Yeah, I think it's cool. It's I love guess. Tiny Chef holding it, whisk in armpit. It, it, re <laughs> it reminds me of the Smurfs, and I, I don't like the Smurfs. Oh, no. <laughs> Imagine they take these and make Smurfs out of them, though. Oh no, man! <laughs> it's gonna be this set times fifty, and it's gonna be like more cursed. Oh, don't, don't give don't say smurfs don't give him ideas we'll go to a lego store in 2025 and there's like creator sets and then rest is just licensed dude like you're <laughs> that's that's nightmare it's the opposite of this this is lego dreams 
Let's do it. Yeah. We're not talking about licenses today, okay? No. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Thank Can you. Can we that. go to the next set then? Yeah, this is yes. a nice little village. I think it's a nice little set. Yeah, yeah let's, let's see the if next there's one, more sets. I think it's a bit of. I wouldn't say the flagship set, but a lot of people like use this one to, to show dreams. At set number 71453, Izzy and Bunchu the Bunny. 159 pieces, 1999. Banger set. I love this awesome. set. Yeah. yeah, I love it. There's a lot of people that might like buy one Lego set ever, and then this is going to be the one or something. I want to like have uh, Umbra from Bionicle do like a race off, a roller <laughs> skate. <race. laughs> Bunch you the bunny. With Bunch you the bunny. This is so good, though. Like, what I, I want to <sighs> say, they really did a great job on that face print for the bunny. Um, mm -hmm, I, agree. I think it works very well with like the minifigure style, and that's how it pulls off that cartoony style in general. The whole set, and yeah. Oh yeah, because because like printing details is is uh, is a fifty fifty sometimes. Yeah, I think that like you have to get that right, and they definitely got that right. <laughs> yeah, that's usually why we don't have like you know cuddly characters like this, like mostly said for like creator stuff. But this feels like you know the level yeah. of detail that we're seeing other sets, but also working with the with the face print. So I'm a big that. fan of it, and I'm, I'm gonna say another controversial thing. <laughs> well, this is a construction set. No, not I mean, I, I agree. <laughs> there is a new construction related piece. Though. There's a yeah. new construction related piece. It isn't a mech. Mm -hmm. It is a it is a figure. This is a construction set. A buildable character. It's a buildable action figure. Character so on that merit, <laughs> I I will evaluate it as such. I really like the new joint style. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I, I I really like it. It's like a ratchet joint with like that connects to an axle slash like pin connector, and that's mm -hmm. awesome. I am a fan of that whole wholesale and the way it can very easily mm -hmm. kind of use the macaroni to transition into mixel joint connectors. Mm -hmm. You can have like the best of both worlds. Okay, I, so I I'm looking forward to it. So this is an example of where I really love the silly little guys because, like, this little silly little guy looks pretty scary, and I like I like the look of him on there. I love it, and also I'm just gonna say it for anyone who's a big fan. Like, you you look at that little guy right there, Kingdom Hearts. That's a heartless right there. That's we're never gonna get anything that's like a, that's why I'm like, if they look good in my hands, then you know, Kingdom Lego Kingdom Hearts, baby, we're there. That's a good figures. point. This guy's called a Grim Spawn, and the the other character is called Izzy. Those are the names for the characters. Mm -hmm. Izzy has a Sentinel sword from Lego Universe. Yes, the sword I, is I, so I, cool. I can't wait to get that sword. Love it. Yeah, this this is just Lego Universe, and we also get yeah. like a lot of really great minifigure stuff I mean, in all the, of these. The villains and, like, are hairs. literally um like the Maelstrom. So yeah, yeah, they look like the Maelstrom. Yeah, it's yeah. the hair piece for Izzy is also like I don't know. It's a weird dual molding, but it also looks like there's some kind of like shimmer kind of stuff they did with some of the video sets. So that's a super unique hair piece. Yeah, um, we're getting a lot of like new hair pieces, like yeah. multicolors, which I quite like. But yeah, I think really this is a banger set. Fun. This is a lot you get that's very uh, dense in terms of quality and builds and minifigures for the price point and the pieces and everything. So, yeah. agreed. I think oh, I think this is gonna be sold a lot. Maybe Lego Friends fans are gonna pop that one out. Yeah, here we see like a better view of that like hair piece. That hair piece looks very dreamlike. Yeah. Yeah. Um I also think this is a better example to explain the whole um choose your own adventure thing. Um if you look at the back of the box, you basically build the bunny first, and then you can either build the, the roller skates or a jetpack kind of construction on the back. And oh, that's perfect. Construction, you, yeah. With, uh, multiple we also, accessories. We also got one of the, the lifestyle photos uh, that shows... Uh, d d don't let me put that up on screen real quick. You Basically, you get to a point in the instruction where they make you choose, okay, which version do you want to build? And then it says, like, go to page this, like, I don't know, page 50 for this version and page 40 for this version. Or that. That's really cool, actually. Yeah. I love that. It is straight up like a choose your own adventure style. Oh, so, man. when it has the jetpack configuration, it turns into a mech and is therefore not a construction figure. It has controls <laughs> on the head. True, it has control oh, on the top and this control. You shut your mouth. 
<laughs> Improvise, adapt, overcome. So you get to choose your own adventure. Do you want it to be construction, <laughs> last hope, or not? Yeah, but I choose yeah. to believe. <laughs> I think this has implications. But that's a bigger discussion for another day. <laughs> <laughs> Implications for the future, TM. Yes. Hope for the future. Okay. Uh, Speaking of Constraction's last hope, um, our <laughs> next set is set number <laughs> 71454. Mateo and Zblob the Robot. Has 237 pieces and goes for 1999 as well. Z blob. So Z blob, Z blob, Z blob. If Z blob has a hundred fans, I am one of them. If Z yeah. blob has one fan, I am that one. <laughs> this is uh, the only set I really care about. I'm Why, Leo? What'd you like about it? He's a funny, funny blob man with a He gun looks gun. like a Ben 10 character, and I love him. Dude, he has like a, he has a big gun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> only in one huh. version, though. <laughs> That's true. I uh, I like him a lot. He does. Uh, he has style. He has grace. He has a funny slime face. Um, I just can't get past. I love the other versions of him more because I I can't get over the the little leg situation. What what little leg situation? <laughs> Everything of it looks really nice and smooth, and he's all like blobby and stuff, and like it, it's just very like smooth of like a silhouette on him, uh, especially compared to like how you see him in the show and everything. But there being just a straight up. Just, just like a, I mean, technique, the, the, just a the yeah, it's very thin. It's, yeah, it's very thin right there. You know. Yeah, I kind of yeah. agree. It looks That's the like only a thing. Fortnite character. But yeah, this is a like it has a yeah kind of. I mean, it does have like a lot of character. This set, I will say that I'm not yeah, gonna get it, but I do. I I think and it's also neat that he has like so many different versions. He has a version that is liter that's just a Baraki eye. That's all he is in the, one of the versions. <laughs> yeah. So. But yeah, this is a neat set. Yeah. It's a kidnapping while getting kidnapped. Yeah, I think that that's kind of cool side bet. Oh, um, we see that in the trailer, kind of. I think the plot revolves around some people being captured in the dream world and not waking up in the real world. And I think that that's like a very good little side build to, to have <laughs> that portrayed, that conflict, I guess. True. Also gives you four... Uh like a new uh, of that new construction piece and I think like this also it's yeah, really good nice value use of, use of what you can do with that yeah it's, now it's... while we're on the subject of Z Blob this is not the right show for it but I don't know when I'm going to get another chance anytime in the near future so I want to bring this up <laughs> someone on the Bionicle Reddit oh yeah they, re they recolored Z Blob and they added like a how and be like, this could be an example of what a Bionicle <laughs> figure could look like. And I kind of vibe with it. I'm not think... gonna lie. I don't know if I would want it for a theme, but it kind of looks cool. It could it could work. I can I think see for it. Bionicle, I wouldn't use the the like the noodle limb pieces. Um, but with that new joint, you could easily like build a different arm and leg design. So yeah. true. I mean, it was just an, it was a simple Photoshop sort of. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a sort of Bionicle. If you picture just not trying to like make Tahu seven times, if it was just a brand new Bionicle but that's, character. That's all Bionicle is. Yeah, the red one. Don't bro. you know the red, the red one? Yeah. Okay. All, if Bionicle ever comes back, it will just be ten different versions of Tahu. Very cool. Uh, very cool mockup. Very cool mockup. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we love Z Blob. Carry on. Z Blob. Z -Blob. Okay, yeah. He has, also has a different version. He has a little robot hat in the other version, and like a jetpack, too, but no gun. Like a high re reason, like a chance of me just buying the headpiece and then just making something new and funny out of that, honestly. Like a Good. super beefed up. I mean, if, if the minifigure was just this type of... Well, it, it is sort of... Isn't It's not the same as the minifigure version, right? It's like a different version. Yeah. What do, you, what do you mean? What? what do you mean? There, there's there's multiple. Minifigure. There's like three or yeah. four. Yeah. yeah, it's just if it was just this on all the sets, he'd just be like blue from um, Foster's Home, and I think that would just be funnier. It's like R two <laughs> without the legs or the weird body. <laughs> just sort of, uh, oh yeah, yeah. I kind of would have preferred that design as a whole, but uh, it's, it's fine. When what they do later, but I do like this set a lot. And it'll probably be like the main one I pick up. Real quick, the the price for this one and the bunny, I think it's pretty fair. 
Yeah, I agree. I mean, oh, absolutely. What are they? Thirty or forty? Twenty. Uh, twenty. Twenty. Both are twenty. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Wait, the bunny is twenty. Yes. yes. No way. Yes. We're dude, serious. Getting, oh man, I'm getting the bunny for sure, dude. <laughs> if it's just it's twenty, really good. easy buy, dude. Easy buy. Construction is not dead. Let's go. Construction's <laughs> alive. It's alive. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I maybe mean, it'll have like a yeah. like a Norway markup thing where it'll be like three hundred crones or something instead of two hundred. I don't know. We'll see. If it's two hundred, I'll buy it for sure. I'll I will say that. Okay. Uh, the next yeah. one, also kind of in that line of sets. Um, is set number seven one four five five Grim Keeper the Cage Monster. Uh, this one has two hundred and seventy four pieces. It goes for thirty seven ninety nine. I love that price, Ooh. and I love uh, that price for part ratio. Wow. Yeah. Why this is this so happened. expensive? I feel like I don't know why is this one so much more expensive than the other two. I kind of get he's bigger and he has a bunch of like big pieces too, but like that much. <laughs> The the euro price being similar to the U.S. price is bizarre to me as well. Mm -hmm. It yeah. does not make any sense to me. Wait, which I, it's not coming up for me, man. It's just uh, my internet sucks. I guess today. It's the guy oh! with cage. Oh! It's the cage guy. <laughs> oh, Nicholas dude! Cage. Oh, that this that's that's Karzani, dude. <laughs> I, I do like the design a lot. It kind of is. The, the more you see it in the comics. No, it, you're right. The head is put it side by side. Oh, it's Karzani. No, it's Karzani, dude. You the final Karzani, <laughs> baby. Let's do it. Fresh is dead. Fresh is dead. This is Bionicle B3 right here. The price is definitely better than Karzani on the aftermarket, so maybe we should. That's messed up, bro. <laughs> it's too far. That really messed it up, dude. It, it really is Karzani. I can't. And Leo has that Karzani. <laughs> it's sitting there on my shelf. Right. Sitting there, <laughs> menacingly. Wait, you have like the uh, the Mahri like version of? Yeah, the I'm only well, yeah, I, I, have, I help. Yeah. I helped him. The get only thing that. technically I'm missing is the correct colored knees, but I oh, I just built it yeah. in white because it was cheaper, but. That's cool. Yeah, it's got like the spikes coming out of the middle, the the curve. It's like, the coolest set horn. ever that falls apart if you breathe on it. It's you know, this is this whole theme is just Bionicle the dream. You know, you right. think things that aren't there. <laughs> but he has he has like even like the same stance, and he like he instead he of the, yeah, and like if he just had chains, like it would be like per, like he even has like the same kind of snare and like vibe and everything. He's like chained, like it's. It could be his brother, man. Yeah, it is. Or, it's no, or no. Uh, no right, like, like side by side. Oh man, we're getting too. <laughs> don't read too much into it, Maso. But yeah, I, I like this guy. I think okay. he works a lot better than um, Blob Guy when it comes to his his legs. Well, my hot is. take Blob is Rick. this set is the most underwhelming one from Dreams. Um, it looks. Yeah, it does look kind of lackluster. Like from Dreams in general. Yes. Huh. Uh, because the build, Even is, slime fighter. The build is very similar to Z Blob and the, the mm -hmm. bunny, but it's way more expensive. And the, it only has like the, the choose your own adventure thing only applies to the side build, really. Which is yeah, that is like, pretty disappointing. Lame. So, and it only has two minifigures that the, also doesn't really justify the higher price point. So, I, mm -hmm. I think this one's like not a good deal compared to the others. I don't disagree. I think that's a reasoned approach. I do like it still just by basis of being a figure that looks cool. So I would always probably yeah. choose this over like, I don't know, the, the bus one, which we'll get to. I like so the I don't design know, for, for... a lot, but they have like a smaller version in the treehouse. And I feel like that pulls the design up good enough, <laughs> I guess. Um, so, yeah, yeah, I get you there. It is Fair cool enough. for what it does, but I am inclined to agree that it is a little. Um, it does not provide enough for that price point, yeah. in my opinion. It is a fascinating um, continued iteration of that build, and it's very well pulling off that aesthetic that it's trying to. But I'm I'm inclined to agree that um, it could be better. Yeah. I'm in a weird spot with it where I feel like the core gimmick is the part I like the least. I don't really like the cage and the chest. Mm -hmm. I would prefer the figure if it just didn't have that. And if it <laughs> kind of sold like the, the color scheme or the the evil yeah, aesthetic that. better, it was just like yeah. a spooky looking dude. Uh, but I don't know. 
Mm-hmm. But, but meso, it's a rib cage. You're right. Oh, I didn't even think about that pun. <laughs> <laughs> I like this guy though. I will be getting I... him because I support figures. I love Head the head. Spooky. The head print yeah. is really cool. I like how it's, it's like nice. a different color than the rest of the the body to like. Yeah, it looks like a know, skull. A accent. Basically, yeah. It's contrasting, which is here. probably why Meso likes it so much. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> You're so right. That's all That's I really got to say on it. Yeah. What's I, with I, his I, eye? What eye? Uh, the eye on the on the guy. Uh, the lantern bat you thing. The lantern thing. Oh yeah. No, the the guy, the um, uh, the main character guy. His, oh. his eye is. What's, what's what's going on with his eye? I I don't know. I no, that's he... okay. That's a yes or no question. You know. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, right. It's like it looks green. Maybe like a little bit of him got on him or something. Because like, I think not, a bit of not, not blob is merged with the character or something. Because it's got yeah, that, it's... that green splash on him. It, yeah. Z blob, the... time to make my dreams news video. Z blob is evil. Confirm. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Red arrow? Question mark? Question mark? You know all that. I want to. I want to make that video. <laughs> Z Gotta get MatPat in here so along. we can make a game. The Lego theory. Lego theory. I don't know what that is. Uh, so here's like Blond J. Why is he here? <laughs> That's yeah, like that's one of the. Does he come in more of the other sets? That's actually his character is called Cooper. Um, uh, he comes in a different Cooper... set in a cooler design. <laughs> Cooper is cooped up and he's taking a nap. He's a kid that's napping, getting kidnapped. I love that pun, dude. That's like that's the just just very very Lego humor. I'm spitting uh-huh. bars. So um, <laughs> yeah, dude, let's go. About we about more of a lot. About oh. Mateo, um, uh, Nick on says he has a uh, vitiligo. I can I, I can never pronounce that word right, but uh, you know his in the real world he does, and then like in the dream world he um it like green. it turns green. Mm. Yeah, you kind of oh. see it in the trailer in his like normal version. I don't think it comes in any of the sets. Right? His like awake version. <laughs> mm-hmm. Base. Let's see. Let's see. Cool. Yeah, I was I was looking around and seeing if he had if that like appeared on any of his mini figures, and I can't see any. Maybe it's a double sided head or something. That would be cool, but I don't know. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think we should move on to the next set because we have I a agree. lot to cover still. Um, Let's do it. Next up is set number seven one four five six. Mrs. Castillo's turtle van, four hundred and thirty four oh. pieces, forty seven ninety nine. I've been waiting to talk about. Mrs. Yeah, this is, the, this is this is the number one for me. I'm just gonna yeah. buy it and then uh, yeah, this is the number one for me for sure. Just because like I'm gonna outfit with as many weapons as possible. I love the cute turtle. I love the cute turtle. <laughs> turtle is cool. So cool. Let's, yeah, I think this is a very nice set and it has a lot of character to it. You get a lot of cool minifigures and you get like the cactus cat and everything. And I, I, I love the I just cactus like, cat. Yeah. I'm not usually on for like with Lego sets in terms of modifying them. I'm more on the thing where it's just like if I'm buying a Lego set, I want to have it as it is because that's like, and then it, yeah. it, it, I'd rather just like have an entire mock by myself if I'm gonna like build something. I'm not really big on modifying sets, but this one is gonna be an exception because it's just gonna have like missile batteries and machine guns and like I'm just gonna Heck make yeah. this. Like, this is gonna be the new Metal Gear for me just because well, I love get... the juxtaposition of this. Like little what I turned a dream into a nightmare. Yeah, you get you get yeah, you get <laughs> so like so many good minifigures, and you get yeah. like my favorite version of like Sleep Bop, Sleepity Bop, whatever, whatever it is. Z-Bop? 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 Sleepity Bop. Sleepity Bop. Sleepity Bop. Like, I'm just, yeah, I'm just trying to get the scat, man. Oh. Yeah, you know, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, this give is... me a solid. If you make that that mock, make a video of it because uh, keep the peace turns this dream into a nightmare is a great like title. Yeah. How, how to prefer Lego dreams for nuclear warfare. Step one. You know, just, I'll do that. Let's do it. Let's make it so the, really, the really cool thing about this set, I think, out of all of them, from the entire theme, I think this set does the uh, choose your own yeah. build oh, style yeah. the best yeah. because the regular model is it's just a van. a van, which will have appeal to some people. And then you have the two alternate spins on it, which is like it can fly or it can uh, it can walk. walk. So you're really getting like three different cool models. 
because one isn't portrayed as like lame. Some people will prefer to get this set and have a cool van and not have it be a turtle. Mm -hmm. And the fact that they have that option available, I think is, is awesome. It's like a little hippie van, which I think mm -hmm. is neat. Yeah. yeah imagine uh, giving this set without the box and without like the cover of the instructions and they just like go through it with no spoiler. And it's just like, okay, you finished the van. How do you want to turtle it? Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is yeah. It's it's this is such a great sound. So many dollars. Who made this? Who like yeah, they, they needed a war? Man. They need well, yeah, right. <laughs> turtle. Um, on the side of the box, you see Mrs. Castillo has like an actual turtle. So I guess at some point it just turns into a van or like yeah, that's what it seems I, like. It's so or, cool. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, we get like a new. <laughs> Grandmother mold, I guess. Yeah, that's I, that, that, that's, who, that's what I really Castillo. want to talk about. I want to talk about Mrs. Castillo. She's a new kind of like mini finger design. Um, she uses the arms from like the Super Mario characters and like I think the minions, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Completely new right. torso, like a yeah. backpack design. How do we feel about it? I like She's it. Small She's grandma. When I first saw it, I thought it's kind of like weird, but looking at it more, it has a lot of character. I kind of like it now. <laughs> I like it. I just wish that there was some parts of it that were less, uh, like I wish that like the backpack thing was sort of like it instead of it having a backpack there to have like studs studs on its back so that it would be I more it uh, versatile. It does yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah, but, but, yeah, but yeah, but the yeah. mold is integrated with the backpack, so you can't have that sort of mold with no backpack because it's yeah. still gonna have like the rest for of now. It. That yeah, yeah for, for now. now. But that's what I'm saying is that like I'd I'd prefer it to just be like a brand new type of minifigure rather than a specific like specified like new because it's not licensed or anything. They could have had like oh this is the new uh like I don't know crawler minifigure head like. I don't know. You get it. Yeah. I mean, it could that's also. My only yeah, issue. That's my only yeah. Is the backpack actually attached, or do the arms pop off and then like the backpack slides off? I think the backpack is attached, but I. Mm -hmm. okay. I mean, it's hard to tell for certain. <laughs> yeah. Also, I guess we'll find out soon. Also, there we go, baby. Like, uh, there's a uh, a reuse of a mold from. Is that the video mold? Like on uh, Zblop. Yeah. Oh yeah. It, yeah is it? it? Is. Yes. Is so. it? I'm gonna take v my video little guy over here. Let's see. I have my I have the video green guy myself. Yeah, it's definitely the same. There we go. We got a lot of nice stuff, you know. So here's, here's the way video I'm also at it. walked. So Lego Dreams could run, I guess. Here's here's the way I'm I'm looking at it. Big Fig Sandy died, so Grandma could shuffle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For sure. That's exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Big bars today, Zach. We need a Grandma yeah. Sandy now. <laughs> Grandma Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Grandma Just Sandy. Like, uh, I don't know what's in her staff thing, but it looks neat. It's uh, hourglass. An hourglass. Hourglass. Yeah. They, oh, it's an hourglass. Characters Ooh. have like hourglasses. I think that's probably like plot relevant in some way. <laughs> yeah. Is uh is the turtle like head? Is <clears throat> that um, is that the like pauldrons from uh the Star Wars buildable figures, or is that the newer one that has like sort of like a clip? Attachment thing. I believe it is the old style with the CCBS connector. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Could be there those too. Hard to see. But yeah, it's a nice use of that. It lives. It's the last bastion. <laughs> well, not the last one. <laughs> hey, it's not a few, last few are still clinging on. Yeah, this is a cool set. It's cute. It's the. It has uh, a van or a turtle or a flying turtle van if you want. And it's very soon. dreams. Yeah, very dreams. Yeah, yeah, dream. very dreams. Yeah. Very well. Very great. Makes very great use of uh, the Mickey Mouse limbs. You know those big like macaroni pieces. Because I believe that's the first place we saw in the like big Mickey and Minnie yeah. Mouse phase. Yeah, you so may be right. Yeah, so I'm just gonna just gonna refer to them as that. We also have so yeah, me. Room. I'm buying it. Nesso, you're buying it. Who else is buying it? We gotta support this theme if you want to see your turtle, 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 <laughs> turtle, turtle. Anyone? No. Okay. No buyers. Okay. Well. Next, no. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll probably. I'll probably get it. I like. I love the minifigures. I love the van. What about the bunny though? This or the I bunny? I get the bunny. Yeah. You get the bunny. You get the bunny for sure, and then maybe this one. Yeah. Yeah. We also have another I, new character. I want to get one of the like each of the minifigures at least. Oh. Get the whole gang. Get the whole, yeah. uh, get the whole uh, Avengers. Gangs movie. on the loose. Yeah, all Nothing that stuff. you could do. 
no, 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 we're stopping there. We're stopping there. We're stopping there. Anyone else have something to talk about the the turtle? Yes. Tur we have another Tur character we haven't Tur seen yet, which is Zoe. Um, she comes with a purple bow and arrow and a new purple hairpiece. Ah, uh, she's a night stalker. I mean, what? <laughs> Wait, I can't see her yet, but that sounds cool. I like a new. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she seems pretty cool. Let's see. A lot of really cool character designs for this. Like, yeah. I, I'm I'm yeah. really really. I'm really, really happy with how these are shaping up. This is just really, really interesting visually all around. I hope a lot of people like pick up on that because this is also like a way of like it consistently like very interesting builds and characters and I don't know concepts of stuff. So if they, this like goes on for years, I feel like that it has a lot it of, potential lot of potential to it. Potential. Yeah. yeah. So it, like, don't like do the whole thing of just like, oh, this all looks like cool and fun and stuff and everything. And let's just like, if you really like it, then like. You, you vote with your wallet there because like they that mm -hmm. will make it successful if you want this to happen if you want this yeah. to like go yeah I see a lot of people thinking like oh it's already gonna flop like it's gonna get canceled after a year and I'm like I hope not this has yeah, a lot just, of potential I mean, yeah because it's day, just think... so smoothly and nicely made I hope like the younger people just pick up on like yeah. hey it's this is like fun stuff but also like it is of high quality and it's like there's yeah. a lot of unique stuff you get there mm -hmm. compared to I think Bunch of themes. That that's what it's really the important part. If it will catch on with the actual target demographic, yeah, we yeah. Just have to hope that's it what's does. gonna decide if it's gonna live or not. But I think mm -hmm. yeah, anyone got kids yet? Exciting. No, yeah, we're not no, there I yet. Mean, so yeah. We don't know for sure. Here's here's how I'm looking at it. This is very clearly designed to appeal to a huge demographic, um, both boys and girls, people yeah. of all identities. Like this is this is appealing to just a general huge audience. And mm -hmm. while the show and story might be geared towards a younger audience, the sets are geared towards also all ages. And it really has a lot of striking visuals to it. The prices are really not that bad. Like the villain figure with the, at least so far, yeah. the villain figure with the cages chest was a little up there, but past that, like the bunny Z blob, those are going to fly off the shelves. Those are going to appeal to everybody. So I, I have, pretty high hopes and pretty solid confidence in this that especially with how much they're going in on marketing how much they're going in on um making these sets look the way they do mm -hmm. and be fulfilling builds like this is i feel like this is a success story i don't want to jink it jink yeah. it jinx, jinx it, it. <laughs> yeah. yeah hey brain my, my, um my biggest yeah, worry kind of is that some of the sets might be too out there for like parents to buy them um it's like maybe parents would go what is this i'm just gonna get a car for my kid <laughs> and not like yeah a, that's that's uh, what i'm like mostly afraid of i don't know really modern being the unique but yeah i, I hope that like kids really like it and say like no mom i want the the rabbit with roller skates um <laughs> so yeah a lot of up and coming yeah. parents really are cool. like within 10 years of our age so i personally don't see them going eh, car for their kids you know <laughs> like a lot of a lot of a lot of our generation and the generation before us grew up on some pretty wacky and wild themes and such. So I I personally see these selling pretty well, especially because like I mean one of the figures is literally a bunny. It's it's a bunny. Yeah. You know. It is a bunny. Thank you. Bunnies That's are bunny, yeah. they have universal appeal. Everyone likes. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> Some of them are pretty ugly. Unless you hate rabbits. Bunnies have universal Or you've seen the movie Hop. That's the top two. That movie's terrible, dude. Have you seen the movie Hop? That was awful, actually. You know, now you make me hope that set is really does not sell well. Because I never want to I hope it sells incredibly I don't like the bunny, no. Thank you, Zach. You've completely unsold me on the bunny. I think we should We should move on. Awesome. I should not put me in the marketing department. We still have a bunch of sets. Yes, we do. Next Let's up go. is a set with a very funny name. It's set number 71457, Pegasus Flying Horse. Or very redundant. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Department of Redundancy <laughs> Department. <laughs> I think it's because, like, kids might not know what a Pegasus is, I guess. I, I highly. And just call it Flying Horse or Flying Unicorn or something. I don't know. <laughs> Put the sus in Pegasus. Okay, Remove but for real, something. though. For real. For real. This, this is a must buy. This is, this is one of the best slaps. sets in the way. This is, oh one of the goodness. this is one of the best creatures like Lego has ever made, honestly. Mm -hmm. Like just of all time. It is definitely in the top ten, like just 
creatures I in general because it, it looks like a very very good forest. that they use like the classic lego dragon wings in that cool color combination that looks so yeah. good mm -hmm. also i i really like the way the choose your own adventure goes with this one you basically just build mm -hmm. the whores at the beginning and then you can either build the the pegasus with the wings or you can build the horse and like another flying creature as a side build. So that's mm -hmm. a very creative way. You also change mm -hmm. the, the hero flying creature for the alternate versions. Looking at the back of the box, I don't like the neck build. I'm not sure why. I just. I think it's a bit it's stiff, a, maybe. You know? I think that's my main issue, yeah. Oh man, that is not a good neck build, in my opinion. But past that, it's a good set. Just, I, like I think it's all right. Piece. I feel like it's all more right. of like a, I don't know. I feel like most koi horses on the market don't even have movable legs, so no, a stiff agree. neck does not break a, uh, but a it, horse. It's not. It's not just. The, for it's me. just the way it looks, and the, it looks like a macaroni. Well, it is a macaroni looking thing, but that's not how a horse's neck usually is, as far as I remember. I haven't seen a horse in a while, though. I'm gonna look up a picture of a horse with. <laughs> <laughs> I also like uh, the minifigure design for like Zoe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's really good. And then the villain, the, the villain nightmare guy. king, who's sick. So cool! Incredibly I mean, cool design. This is like a meso character. It really <laughs> is. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna have him. Like, you have your sick figure with uh, with the lady bone demon. To have like my villain villain gang Lego villains with the drip. <laughs> Also they got his Lego the, villain OTP. The sword True. piece in like black and um, transparent magenta and it looks really cool. Yeah. I want to see the cape like by itself. The yeah. cape is so cool. Agreed. Wholeheartedly. And the little guy. The the dubious little creature. <laughs> he's uh he's cool. Dude, that guy looks insane. What is going little, on there? Is the that like is that a helmet? Is, is that over? A, dude, I want. I, I'm probably not going to get the horse. Honestly, I'll, I'll be happy if I get it as a gift. But I, I'll brick like that guy for sure, man. I don't know. <laughs> I just want him. Man. Slept on him. <laughs> yeah, he looks. He looks like he's keeping an, an eye and a half on you. you know? I'm very <laughs> curious how uh, how it'll balance. Yeah, and I'm curious about like the thing on Probably the like well. spooky skull guy. Is that like is that thing like cloth? Is it like plastic? Is it soft it looks plastic? Like plastic it in the picture. Yeah. yeah, but is it like so it's just it, eh, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, the little guy's name is Susan, which is not what I would have pictured. Susan. <laughs> Wait, no, Susan is the the girl in the cage, right? Probably. No, that's Nova. Yeah, no, I, I, I can't. I can't confirm play? the little guy is, night is Susan. Called. The little the guy is called Susan. That's so funny. What the <laughs> yeah. Man, the do you kit. have the power of Susan? Susan <laughs> <laughs> has like... seen a lot of things, dude. A, a dubious little creature, Susan. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I, I think this is a very good quality set. Yeah, I like, I like it. It has a lot of character. It looks really nice. It's like. You could you could put this uh, at uh, hot topic, and I feel like it should fit <laughs> right in there. <laughs> also, um, for the true. bionicle fans, lost magenta legs. Lost legs in magenta. Finally. Lost legs live to this day. <laughs> they still got the most for that, huh? My so. man, lost is representing even in 2023. One of the worst oh. sets I ever owned. <laughs> <laughs> Why must you disrespect his name? It's not what do you guys think melon. about the price for the forty nine? I think it's price again. One hundred eighty two pieces. Like... Fair, I think. Wait, what did okay. you say? Okay. One more time. Forty nine ninety nine. Four hundred eighty two pieces. Yeah, it's it's. it's oh, that's standard, nice. I feel. Yeah, yeah, if it's just good. it's if just it's... under what I would consider like good, but it's right at the point like it's not bad, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it looks like substantial. The build, yeah, like size wise. Oh, yeah, I think that's about it for this one. So our next mm -hmm. set I agree. is set really number seven one four five eight crocodile car four hundred and ninety four pieces fifty nine ninety nine. This is like a seven year old boy's dream. Like the guy that has like a bed formed as like a car. This is like his dream set, man. <laughs> and he also Super. likes crocodiles for some reason. Yeah, yeah he probably like lives it, in Florida. You know, the yeah. average yeah, Florida, Florida car. boy. <laughs> this is like this looks like a perfect set for a very specific person. It's not me, but I 
good quality cell. I like the, the the Optimus Prime color scheme. <laughs> Such a weird choice, but I yeah, I like it. the uh, oh, Superman color scheme. That's what I like what I like for this one a lot is that the choose your own adventure thing is very substantial. So mm-hmm. you, once again, you get a normal looking car as the base model. Then you can either build the the crocodile car. Or you build like a different kind of like creature car, yeah. but it looks like a very different build. It's not less like you just yeah. change around a couple of things. Once again, I really appreciate how the how distinct the different models are. Yeah. yeah, you get a lot of mileage out of these sets, and I appreciate so, that. My only issue, really, I guess, with the alt builds is where do the tires go when you make the crocodile car? The big tires, tires go away. I think you. Yeah. I don't think you use all the pieces. Yeah. Okay. Not mm, ideal, but I it mean, is what it is. Yeah, not ideal, but yeah, it is what it is with this sort of thing. Like, it's more evident here because it's four big tires that are kind of poofed out of existence if you don't use the regular car build. I don't yeah. know where I would put them aside from maybe, like, in the crocodile's mouth. Yeah, I mean, there's no really good place. <laughs> there's no real good yeah. place to do it, yeah. Or, I think it's yeah, fine not to use all I the think pieces it's fine. for every version. Yeah. If you get yeah. This is another <laughs> set that I feel is uh, perfect. Like it's the perfect ethos for this theme. Mm-hmm. You show somebody this set and they just like they get it. It isn't like my favorite set from the wave. It's one of the, my least favorites, but That's it's perfect up. for like what the theme is trying to do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, but what this set has is amazing minifigures. So it has a lot the, of minifigures. Yeah. I mentioned earlier we're gonna get a cooler version of Cooper. He has like a full on Iron Man suit in this. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then there's yeah. Meso really like the Nightmare King. I really love the Night Hunter. It looks so cool. Yeah. <laughs> no, okay. He's also cool. The minifigure <laughs> designs are like are popping off for the villains, especially. Yeah. Is is, is Snivel the, the little figure? guy? Snivel's uh, the bomb the, the the big head guy. I yeah. really hate that thing. What's wrong with <laughs> Snivel? Dude, it's what, so what ugly. do you hate? What do you hate? So is, is, that, is that the yeah? Is is that the big fig head? Yeah, it's yeah the, Thanos the, the Thanos head. head. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought. It is, oh, it is oh. a Funko Pop? <laughs> I'm gonna punch no, I, that. I do. Is worry. that the heads they li- used in that Chinese New Year one as well? Yes. In peace. Yeah. Mm. Now I do okay. worry about the Night Hunters like scarf thing. Mm-hmm. Because is that is that made of fabric or plastic? Plastic. 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 Maybe Hope it's so. rubber Maybe or something. It might be rubber, yeah. Because I want it to hold its shape, you know what I mean? Like yeah, the I'm hand pretty sure it does. That looks like other, soft plastic yeah. or like thinner, like slightly yeah, venable plastic. Yeah, it's either soft plastic or rubber, I think. Yeah. He looks really, really Man, soft. it's a shame, because yeah, this, this, yeah, I prefer, uh, this has really good I, I like good his design figures. over the, the Nightmare King, honestly. Well, uh, he, he comes, the Night Hunter comes in another set, too, so... Okay. Yeah, but the Iron Man guy and the, the little, silly little guy with the big hat. Like, I like all those <laughs> things. Uh, I, think, I think Silly Little Guy comes in another set. Yeah. Yeah, he, yeah he, but he, Silly he, Little he Guy my... with a big head, though? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, so, so and he comes. Uh, he comes in both Snivel, Night Hunter, and Grim Keeper come in another set. Nice. The the biggest, the big, like the cage monster set. I like the I like the Iron Man, but not Iron Man guy though. That is pretty neat. Legally distinct yeah. uh, Iron Legally Man. Legally distinct. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we gotta use. We have Iron Man else. at home. <laughs> <laughs> he's uh, uh, he's Copper higher, Dude. Though. Yeah. Well, I yeah, like I think... it with the, the pauldrons though. I like. I'm gonna have a lot of fun outfitting those like little uh, bodies with like different armor throughout yeah. Lego Town mm-hmm. to see if how it works. You know, imagine like one of those little guys with like the the Aqua Raiders things. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. <laughs> Any more thoughts on the Anyone on car? More on the car? Oh, we don't really get in much cars. Something yep. we don't get in a lot of themes. So I, I will buy this car because it's nice. funny. It is fun. I mean, you kind of have to as, as a Floridian, yeah. right? As the only Floridian here, yeah, I gotta buy it. Yeah, it's <laughs> very close to home. That's so far too sets. Florida man to attaches car to crocodile. <laughs> For sure. Oh, mm-hmm. all right. Now we're getting into the bigger sets. Um, Whoa. Oh. We got set number 71459, Stable of Dream Creatures. 681 pieces, 79.99. 
this is what convinced me of the silly little guys because I love them as like silly little mushroom guys. I feel like mm-hmm. that fits the that, that fits yeah, the best. That's true. That them, fits yeah. them the best for sure. I feel like that's when they they started like first with those guys, and then they were just like, hmm, so what if we make more? Yeah, let's yeah. make more silly little guys, and then they just kind of went a little they got worse, board, but a little bit. But I, uh, I don't know. I, I, I don't like them too much. I like I, these guys. I don't yeah. like them in the other sets. They're still they're still better than Jackstone minifigures for sure. <laughs> Um, but I think this is a very beautiful set. It's like the closest thing we'll ever get to like an Animal Crossing set. I feel, and you also get like little cactus. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I love the gear. Wow, what do you mean? Wow, man. it looks like one of those like. You don't have any real. hope, man. I don't have any what. You don't have any hope for an Animal Crossing set in the future someday. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not interested in Nintendo. That's messed up. <laughs> Go buy Mario. Go buy Donkey Kong set. No, no, I just mock and make my own stuff. That's better. But yeah, anyway, this set is pretty cool. <laughs> Um, I like that we get like little sleepy, sleepy, slab, lovely, blue, soup, soup, blab, sea blob, sea blob, sea blob, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, sea blob. blob. Yeah, and I also love we the love like, uh, yeah, the reindeer of the forest or whatever that guy is. It's also like a very neatly, nicely made creature, I feel. The so. deer looks really cool. I just wish the feet could like move. You know what I mean? The ankles. Yeah. Ankles, yeah, yeah, in yeah. some way, even if it was just on a hinge, because I appreciate that you can move the legs. I just don't know what that's really gonna look like if you can't move I the like ankles. You, you can make it like, I, think you I can mean, like it, it bend it down, like, yeah, it like, looks stable enough to where you should be able to like put it in like a kneeling down pose, but probably not much else. Yeah, it, yeah, uh, the Pokemon it probably looks like is what Saw's book, yeah, that one, yeah. I was about to say it looks it looks yeah. like a late generation Pokemon, and I really yeah, like that build for it. I love the cat cactus. It's so it's incredibly cute. fun. <laughs> yeah, I do think this one the the choose your own adventure thing is a bit underwhelming. It mostly just affects mm-hmm. the deer and like some I agree side stuff. And I don't yeah. really I kinda, think I kind of get why. You want to have like that main build you build first. In this case, it's just the building. I this guess. is one of the ones where I feel it is it, it is very much like Ninjago Core, where it's like okay, you have uh, one really lame regular model, and then you have a cool model. Yeah. But I don't I don't like the the blue flower version of the deer. It's too like top heavy. It looks too odd for okay. me. Yeah, um, the regular one works. It's just a deer with like colors. The use of coral pieces for the horns is really clever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think it's a nice set, and also feel like this theme is also very good in like giving a variety of like uh, locations as well as not just like all these things. There's just a lot of creatures and stuff, but there's a little bit of like world building going on, which I think is really nice. Yeah, I also think it's mm-hmm. fun variety of set. Like this looks to me like a friend set, but it's cool to get something like that yeah. in a theme that also has stuff that looks like could be. The next one, maybe a space set, or other sets look like they could just be a fantasy castle set. It's I don't know, it looks a little more like a Lego elf set than friend set. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, maybe. you can see that, because it's a big creature. We had that happen. That was not just a fever dream, right? That was a yeah, thing that happened. Elves did yeah, exist. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it I was glorious. Elves still around. Same. Yeah. Some of these building techniques we've got nowadays, imagine how much elves would have popped off. <laughs> Yeah, imagine if we got like a Lego dragon this year, you know, like a different thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next but yeah, up. I think this is a nice set. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think about the price? Yeah, what is it? What is it? It's seventy nine ninety nine for six hundred and eighty one pieces. Ooh. Not Ooh. good. Not good. Not good. Uh, yeah, not, good. not that good of a set compared to the so it's not gonna be it for me, dog. So, but so. the mushroom people X. Yeah, Bricklink is a thing. I know. <laughs> that's, that's your answer that's, for everything. Bricklink, how, yeah. yeah, no, but that's how like I waited I know, I know. time for the Lego, you know, the little Bionicle system one because like I'm. That's yeah, that's the smart way to do it. Anyway, next page, next, next slide. Up. Let's do it. That number seven one seven six zero, Mister Oz's space bus, eight hundred seventy eight pieces, ninety nine ninety nine. This, this one also comes like with odd. so many little guys. 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, it's and I love the like names. The, Y'all know the it names. It just reminds me of, like the yeah. old space. There was like huge like Lego like spaceships that had like so many like little compartments and different stuff going on. Like this is a this is a nice. I nice will say space. the more we go through this, the more the little guys are kind of growing on. <laughs> right, right. Like after the mushroom people, you're just like, oh, I, I kind of see what they're doing with them, and they're just like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, the, yeah. The silliness is uh, is infectious. You know? So most of the, like an the most of the little guys' uh, names are references to other themes. The space mm-hmm. man's name is Denny. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the pirate one is Captain Bedbeard. The uh, the knight is Flight Knight. Uh, the <laughs> other one that doesn't have like a direct reference is the top hat guy whose name is Proper Chopper. <laughs> Proper like Chopper. <laughs> it's funny how they all have like propellers too. Like, at least, yeah, get, like I a, love them. Yeah. You can get like a silly little army. Yeah, <laughs> you can get a silly so army weird. on this. I will got. I will buy. Okay, listen to this, Lego. I will for hundred percent buy a silly little guy battle pack. You know, do it in Star <laughs> yeah. Wars. Do this one, but but double up the fix. Do it eight they, instead of they four. Should, they, do but it. they should actually call it silly little guy battle pack. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> silly little pack. A silly little pack. <laughs> just, just a silly little pack. You know. Yeah, this is a great set, and it does it does have like the color scheme of like agents, as you said, and then they just mm-hmm. have like, yeah. a tiny bit of a hidden side just swooped in the middle there. Is, know, is Mister Oz the old guy? Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. And is yeah. Albert the monkey? Al- yeah. Albert is the monkey. The blue guy's name is Logan. Yes, okay. Logan Paul. He's one. Of, he's one of their <laughs> friends from school. It's just like when he goes into the dream world, he doesn't get cool armor. He turns into a silly little guy. <laughs> Where's the monkey's tail? Is it printed on the back? Hoping. I don't know if it has real. one. He has up. a space suit on. Maybe it's inside. Yeah. Um, I, like I will admit it's not it's not one of my favorites, but as an as a set, it's one of the better ones because mm-hmm. it, uh, it 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 has some appeal to I think uh, older demographics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. I feel like this I want to see. We. I want to see the like interior. This... Sorry. This looks like yeah. an old school Lego space set. Like, mm-hmm. it's yeah. not like even though it uses modern pieces and stuff, the, the shaping makes it look like it's one of the like '90s space stuff. That's a thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. I'm getting a lot of like old school space feeling from this. Yeah, uh, and also love the uh, thrusters slash you know uh, cannons on the far right and far left. You know, I love that. Oh, for sure. Really yeah. spiky shape. I feel like that's just very satisfying. It's very simple, but it's also very satisfying to look at. So I like it, and I like all the, the silly guys who get it. Yeah. Bit pricey, but has some bigger pieces. Kind of. That's the downside. Can I get it, but at the same time. Or, is it a bad price per piece ratio? It's not what you'd want. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all not right. all. Yeah. Like, it's not. There, there have been worse. Okay. Yeah, they're sure. But yeah, yeah, eight hundred and seventy-eight pieces for a hundred dollars. So, I'll say. not the best, but not the worst. Yep. Okay. All right. We're on we to have, the final two. We have two the more. Final two. Ooh, These I are pretty big. What... Um, big. We have big. set number seven one four six one. Fantastical Treehouse. One thousand uh, two hundred and fifty-seven pieces for one hundred nine ninety-nine. Oh man, the people who bought the Lego Ideas set uh, <laughs> <laughs> feel really, really right now. This yeah. reminds me a lot of the Lego Friends treehouse we had a while back. Whoa. Well. That. that was a very similar build. I love the modularity of this. It's great. Um, yeah. it, it reminds me of uh, it reminds me of the Monkey Kid like buildable, like, you know, play sets where oh, like yeah. Yeah. Like the uh, the city, city of, uh-huh. lanterns. city of lanterns, yeah, where you can like move all the the pieces mm-hmm. around. Everything's kind of like. Is this is this, is the cage monster supposed to be a tiny version of the other cage monster? Or yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's what I tiny. meant earlier. With there's a tiny version of it, and I feel like it does yeah. the job well enough. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you might. Mini Carzani. 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 So yeah. The choose your own adventure for this one is basically you built the tree with like empty spots where you put the rooms. Then you have different configurations, like how you, you add stuff mm-hmm. to that. 
Like a really cool idea. Yeah, you can make it like a house, or you can make it like a defense point. Yeah. Yeah. Which is cool. I don't like that. That, that um, the mailbox is gonna try to kill me. I, I like love that, that mailbox thing. I think looks he evil. looks so funny. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been trash bot. Oh, he looks. <laughs> Oh, Kong dude. droids were good. Day, yeah, as I dude, upset day, every Star Wars fan. The day we get that has like official trash bot figure. Dude, I'm gonna buy like 50 of that set and wait a decade and then yeah, scalp it sure. and sell it for like a super high price. Yeah, and then take over the world. Bruh. Trash bot's the best thing out there. Yeah, it looks neat, but I'm not big on like the whole tree house yeah. thing. And also, if you build a lot with different pieces, you know what happens with reddish brown. So <laughs> I'm good. <sighs> I mean, right. I Fair think of this brown. Fair price, though. Yeah. Does yeah, it like it's... does does it does it lose its luster over time? Eh? It breaks. They are very thing? prone to breaking. Is it still oh. a fix problem that. with? They are the lime sets? green joints of Lego colors. I thought they fixed that. I think they fixed it, but I'm not 100 sure. Let's well, not like jump it. into this little. little I'm a sucker now. for tree houses, so I really like this one. I like. It looks the, very the solid, and I appreciate that it does. It looks okay. Yeah. I like that it has colors. I like that these sets have uh, have a color on them. Yeah, they use a very very nice nice palette all around. That's like I, how uh... the individual little like houses are very much in design for the characters. Like the Z Blob house looks all slimy. And yeah. Like... Izzy. Izzy's yeah Izzy's room has like the mm -hmm. color scheme of her outfit. Yeah. This is a set it's with the most money figures, right? If we're not counting, uh, I guess not. Is this like the main mm. hub in like the story or whatever? Sort of like in like yeah. uh, I could Adventure it, Time yeah. type thing? <laughs> yeah. But it looks pretty neat that this is like the home hub and they kind of have like their own little corner and stuff. I like when build like, like when they, they integrate a lot of character into actual buildings. So that's yeah. nice. I want to see more of that for sure. I will say, uh, before we get to the last set, Sir Lojom is asking, have they dropped the premise of the theme yet? Yes, they've released a whole trailer for it. But also from the press release, the premise is plain and simply just uh, written as the Lego Dream series follows the adventures of school friends, Mateo, Izzy, Cooper, Logan, and Zoe, as they join a secret agency and learn to use the power of imagination to journey into the dream world and learn to defeat the tyrannical nightmare king. So we got secret agency shenanigandry. And it sounds like a fun time to me. Yeah. Now, oh, Sakoda, it's time. Set. Move on final to set. the best, oh, the best set. I think some people here might like this one. It's not the know. Z Blob Mac Mesa. That's the best set. Go on. <laughs> From okay. the buddy. We have here. set number 71469 Nightmare Shark Ship. 1,389 pieces, 139.99. I love it. This set is so good. This is so, uh, very metal. Obviously, even though I know the very answer, very metal. Uh, can it yeah. can it float? <laughs> Probably not. No, I can but I can fly. It can drive. All right. A little bit of a step. <laughs> this is one of those sets like like we're never gonna set that's exactly like this some other time. So no, this is, this is uh, this a is a this is a menacing eye. Yeah, go on. Wait, it's like a, a giant shark boat that can either get wheels or fly, <laughs> and it has like the eye of Sauron. <laughs> what? This is like the edgy Destiny's bounty. It's the edge <laughs> bounty. I love it. It's the, edge, it's the edgy bounty, dude. So I'm now looking that it has a tiny Z blob. Yeah, and I, I yes. want that. The tidiest Z <laughs> blob. No, I, no, I don't. No. I don't want to buy the set. I just want the Z blob. So, Messo, you buy the set. I'll get isn't that? Is it that like a Baraki eye from it like? Yeah. Yes, you yeah. said this earlier. Just, what, just how, like, printed. Yes. Yeah. I told you earlier that, that they have a set. I forgot. Just yeah. I forgot. It's okay. You know, we can't all remember absolutely. All right, so, Messo, buy the set and give me him. You right? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know if they made like. It's not I, the normal one. It's the one with like there's an actual like uh, clip hole uh, at the end of it. Yeah. I don't know for sure. I don't know. I think for it's sure. new. I haven't yeah, seen it before, no, but it's it familiar. So. Yeah, I think it's new. Okay. Um. So I, I just noticed this, but the the prison in the rib cage of the shark is a bed. 
Not like that. <laughs> oh, that's smart. It's All like right, the, cool. the other little bed. So you can kidnap. Walls. So if if you punch the eye, does the set fall apart? It would be very funny. I don't think so. <laughs> oh man, yeah. This is every single bounty like put together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as you can the see, the bounty, the bounty died just, multiple just... times so that the shark could fly. <laughs> True. I find, it, I find it weird, though, that in like, the minifigure lineup, the Z-Blop is like, comically oversized because that little clip under there is supposed to go in someone's hand. So he should be oh, yeah, as wide. Right. Yeah, he <laughs> should be as wide as like one of those like hands. So that thing is a lot smaller than it looks in that picture. I though. mean, I guess they want to include him in the lineup. Or also yeah. would look like it has less figures. I mean, it does have a small amount compared to other sets. Mm. And this is yeah. the, the flagship, the final one. Yeah, it's... I get why, but... It looks unreasonably It cool. is literally a flagship. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is a flagship. <laughs> There's a lot of details, and, you know... Yeah. Just, yeah, I like it. It's Are the teeth glow-in-the-dark, or is it spring yellowish green? Uh, yellowish green. Those still cool. already come in spring yellowish green. But... Yeah. Yeah, still cool. Yeah, and I mean, I, I don't know really what else to say. Oh. It's my favorite set, and yeah, I, I don't be, really uh, have curing it. Which version has... do you like more, Miso, flying or driving? Um, I'm very torn. What? I was a big, I was a big land bounty uh, fan no. from Ninjaga. I like the wheels, and I, mm -hmm. I, enjoy, I, I, I was never the kind of kid to like swoosh around like a flying ship. But I loved the rolling vehicles, like the Thornatus V9 from uh, Bionicle. Like I was mm -hmm. always really big into that. But I think the flying version looks better. Yeah, right, I'm gonna give you an idea. Buy two of them. <coughs> Wheels <Anyway>. and thrusters. <laughs> exactly. Buy two and then combine them into one big one. <laughs> yes. No, I love it. It's a great set. Top to top tier. This is a very, very, very good first impression for this theme in terms of yeah. big sets, yeah. small sets, it's a very strong uh, opener. figures, yeah, figures, uh, locations, uh, world building, minifigures. There's a. I really hope like people catch on to this. Like, I, I also just so. read. Go on. Just want to say I'm very happy that there's a good amount of villain sets, which mm -hmm. a lot of. Story Ninjago has been get. lacking. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, it's. Um, I mean. It's three villain sets, so the majority is still like hero stuff, but still, those are three. There's a lot. That's more than the sets. zero we normally get. Yeah. So what I would like to say as we move into the closing thoughts of this, I I really love Dreams. I think Dreams mm -hmm. is awesome. I've seen a decent amount of people who are not big fans of it. Um, and I, I think it's interesting to discuss why that is for a lot of people. A lot of people have expressed that there's no like there's no semblance of like cohesion to the mm -hmm. wave the randomness is a little off-putting and i i kind of get that but i also i also don't really relate to that ideology personally i feel that it is very like i said earlier it's a very lego theme it's very mm -hmm. imagination creativity uh focused and I feel like I would not want a theme like this to have cohesion because that's not the point. Every other story theme has cohesion. Dreams is dreams because it does not have that. Well, um, hmm. And I also feel that the variety of sets is very intentional. The reason there are so many different things about it, so many different aesthetics, so many different styles is because there's a little something for everyone in yeah. this theme. You have three mm -hmm. figures that are basically construction figures, and then you have three, like, uh, location-based sets, and then you have three, like, traditional, I guess four, traditional, like, vehicle sets that also double as, like, creatures in some cases. Yeah. So there's something for everyone, depending on what kind of a Lego fan you are. Uh, older, newer... Bionicle. <laughs> <You> know, there's, <laughs> there's something to enjoy uh, for everyone. I, I don't funny. feel you could get that in in other Lego themes because they wouldn't be able to integrate. You know, having figures with a treehouse, with a deer, with you know a giant flying shark ship. 
you kind of need to pick an aesthetic and you need to run with it, which is what teams like Ninjago or Monkey Kid do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the the cohesion argument maybe applies if there's like if you look at the whole wave, if you get the whole wave. But I think like if you look at the individual sets, everyone finds something they like. So it's like maybe maybe not as many people are want to collect the whole wave, but I feel like everyone can find a cool set. That you know. Yeah, there's something that they can like out of it. Yeah. And that's kind of the 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 fun of it for me. Yeah. I am a uh, I'm a certified dreams fan. I'm I'm looking forward to following this theme's progression. I will definitely be getting some of them. Um, guaranteed by turtle for my guaranteed by turtle for X mm-hmm. turtle yeah. rep Leo yeah. with the the the, the crocodile car and blob. Sakota, will you be getting any sets? Um, probably. Uh, I definitely like the bunny and Z blob. So either those or the horse. Pegasus. Those are my favorites. What, what I mean, about the, you, Zach? Z Blob and the horse are really, really cool. We don't yeah. really get a lot of like Lego horses, <laughs> like brick built. I feel. Mm-hmm. So I feel like this is we got the one in Nexo Knights that like very long mm-hmm. time ago. Yeah, that one I like. <laughs> Nexo Knights feels like a million years ago, dude. Mm-hmm. Uh, it does. Well. That, that about covers yeah, I think we right? used up all our energy here, man. Yeah. <laughs> we did it. Yeah, it was quite a lot of sets, but I think it was mm-hmm. very exciting and very happy that we Yeah, I would have been really thing. excited to talk about this. I love the reveal of just like waking up. I'm just like, there's a turtle car <laughs> bus thing, <laughs> and there's silly little guys in there, and I'm just like, wow, let's go. This happens. Silly little guys. Yeah. Yeah. I love them. Yeah. I love them. All right. All right. That was yeah. fun. Yeah, anyway, yeah. I think that about covers it for today. Today, thank you all yeah. so much for watching us. Um, thank you for give it a like Rick feed. Give mm-hmm. if you like it. Subscribe to keep the peace. Um, share your favorite dreams set in the comment section below. Good idea. <laughs> and yeah, thank you for listening. I've been your host, Sakoda. I have been Meso. I've been the XX Trooper. I'm Starbreaker. I'm Leo. I'm Josh.